Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios. We got a few requests that have come in, including a few popular ones that I've sorted through. Uh, the one we're going to play today is called Heart of Darkness. This is another Darkest Dungeon based scenario, if I can find you. Why is it always so hard to just find the things you want with a search function? There it is. There it is, by A Beautiful Dwang. That's fun. Another Darkest Dungeon scenario, this time with the Heart of Darkness featuring custom traits, government actions, and events. This scenario is not designed to be easy. You are required to understand the mechanics in order to win. Fun. Do you explain the mechanics? It does not look like it. Uh, but he also did the sleeper, so... We already have some familiarity with uh, this particular author. The portal to the Darkest Dungeon has opened once again. The madness will corrupt the mind and taint the soul turning the weak-willed into servants of the old god. They will spread the death and destruction in order to empower their god and release it, the shell containing it. Release it, the shell containing it. However, the mankind, the mankind, would not go down without a fight. All right, let's give this one a shot. Again, anything Darkest Dungeon related is gonna be good. Well, okay. It depends entirely on who's programming and writing it, but I like the idea of it. I feel like it has potential by default. So let's give this one a shot. It is a Nurax Worm. Metabolic Jump, Genetic Mimic, Terracite, Extreme file, and Symptostasis all seem quite fine. No easy difficulty. Is that what you mean by saying it's not designed to be easy? You literally took out the easy mode? Eldritch Blessing is the name by default. The cycle continues. The Heart of Darkness has returned once more, gaining power from the deaths of human. Will it break free from the shell? Or will it be sealed away once more? Now, if I have anything to say about it, choose this. I mean, we're just going to choose Saudi Arabia. Although, honestly, with the Nurex Worm, it's, you got a little bit more flexibility. Nurex Worm is pretty easy to work with. To unlock the final trait, there is a condition to be met. You'll need to connect two out of three cultist symptom trees in order to open up a passage to the final symptom. Okay, good to know. Uh, for transmissions, we start off with Flesh Blob. <laughs> That's disgusting. Corpses and infected with sever symptoms would manifest eerie-looking sack of flesh with consciousness. Unlocks mutation traits. Ah, the grammar and spelling is amazing so far. Resonating flesh. The flesh will become more active. Infected human feels more energized. Increased poor country transmission and mutation chance. Dark whisper. People are hearing whispers of unknown language in their sleep, increasing urban transmission. Iron crown, which looks more like a Santa hat, but maybe it's... Maybe it's iron, and maybe it's got iron thorns in it or something, I don't know. It just sort of seems like it throws me off a little bit. Some helmet-shaped artifact can be found in the countrysides, increasing rural transmission. Tainted Religion 1. Followers of various religion are seeing visions of blurry red figure. Increasing land and poor country transmission. Social media. Ominous symbols and images on their feed. Rich country transmission. A lot of options. We're going to go ahead and pick up the Flesh Blob to start. That opens up water and air. Detached Flesh Blobs can now tolerate extreme environment, arid and plane transmission. So even though it does have a lot of the basic transmission vectors, at least there's some customization in the description. Four symptoms. Hello, cultist. The Cultist Acolyte. People who have been enlightened by the new god will now spread its words with wicked spells. Unlocks the Cultist Brawler. Alrighty, so... I guess we're unlocking the different NPCs that you'll didn't cover in the Darkest Dungeon, I would guess. Irrational. Flesh blobs that attaches to humans manipulates their mental condition using chemicals. Honestly, if a flesh blob attached to me, I'd be far less concerned about what kind of chemical effect it might have, and I'd be screaming my head off trying to get it off. But anyway, that's just me. Infil infiltration. Sorry, infiltration. Flesh blobs can now merge with normal flesh. Hosts are less likely to notice the giant tumorous growths on their skin. Heat resistance, cold resistance, illogic thoughts instead of illogical. People in wealthy countries are less likely to trust science and logical arguments. Aha! It's like the science denial official scenario. Dark Pilgrimage. That's a cool name. Cultists around the world search for the portal in order to witness their new god. Unlock Trojan Plains. Hey, that actually makes sense. I like it. Devotion 1. The priests demonstrated what happens if lower-ranked cultists does not serve their masters with their lives. Combat's Ancestor Incorporated Research. I see, that's, so that, that, that's how we're going to explain the fact that there's a cure? Okay, it's just Ancestor Incorporated. Mutation abilities, Flesh Blobs, has acquired some abilities from the Heart of Darkness. Let's see what this is. So we have Mind Control, forcing them to travel to another country. So is that different from Trojan Plains in some way? Enhance ability, attach cultists and boost their overall performance, increasing mutation chance. Or sorry, Chinlash. Evolving Flesh, Flesh Blobs will adapt to environment instantly. 
Minor increased transmission in all environments and mutation chance. Uh, we have digestion. Flesh blobs slowly dissolve the flesh of human stuff. Dissolve spell. Anyway, use the food for growth mutation chance. Uh, more mutation chance and corpse transmission. Malignant growth. I like that. And intelligence network. Reduce research speed and increase mutation chance. Lots of stuff at the beginning. Tips. Mutation traits. Hybrid traits that usually consist of an ability plus mutation chance. It also unlocks the third cultist tree in symptoms. They are labeled with purple hexagons. Thank you for going out of your way to explain all of the mechanics so I'm not left wandering around aimlessly. I do actually appreciate that. I also appreciate an gr uh, excessive amount, well not excessive, but an exceptional amount of customization at the very beginning of the game. It's pretty good. How quickly the tides turn! Scientists report that sea currents are rapidly changing directions, causing ships to travel faster. One of the article implied an avatar of the Great Old One is at work here. Transmissions. We're going to go for arid transmission, I think, since we did start off in Saudi Arabia. You know, I mean, even if with a Nurex Worm, even with the Trojan Plains, you want to follow your pretty standard opening moves wherever you can. I'm not as worried about water transmission because getting to the islands is not that hard. But getting an early game spread is important if you want to get a good score. For symptoms, we could certainly go for the Cultist Acolyte, and I wouldn't mind getting some more severity somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. That unlocks the Cultist Brawler. I'm guessing this is a second one of the trees we have to join up. Telepathy. Cultists would utilize telepathy to chant spells directly to people's minds, increasing rural transmission and less likely to be noticed. Also stress. Stressful incantation. Aha! The Cultist would chant unknown language, causing people to see visions. The new cult arises. Wow, is that actually the animation of the guy in the Darkest Dungeon? I've never actually beaten the game, so... <laughs> I don't know, that looks pretty good, though. People driven by madness or brainwashed has joined the cult of the Heart of Darkness. Amidst those who join, some of them have undergo physical change. What could this possibly mean as they turn into Cthulhu monsters? Well, it means we're all going to die. That's the simplest explanation. We're all going to die a horrible, most painful death. All right, let's see. Poor country transmission is not bad in the early game. Urban is pretty nice. Rural is not bad. Wealthy is always quite good. Land and poor country transmission. For two more points for an extra bit of land transmission, I would guess that is a little bit better value, so I will save up for that instead. Ba-boom. Grab you. Moving on through Africa. Now up into the Middle East and Iraq. And finally, the planes are off and are running. We need some more uh, symptoms ASAP. More severity. Stressful incantation and telepathy actually reduces severity, which I do not want. So does infiltration. I'd rather have the cultist brawler and start working on a second path. Rend for the old gods. Brawlers will inflict minor flesh wounds on people. Ishul's a flesh wound, leaving them vulnerable to flesh blobs. I don't know where this flesh blobs thing comes from. I don't recall that being a darkest dungeon mechanic so much, but I kind of it's, it's okay. It works for me. Just doesn't quite fit what I expected it to be. Stumble scratching. Stumble scratching? Brawlers would shield acolytes, protecting them while they chant spells. Slightly harder to cure. Okay, fair enough. New cult discovered. Several reports pointed out that there is a new cult growing around the world, performing horrible rituals and strange activities. Officials are concerned about the rapid growth of the cult. Yeah, we already can boast a good 2 million members strong. Ancestor Incorporated has revealed itself, founded by the descendants of Wayne June. Ancestor Incorporated has prepared itself to stop the Heart of Darkness once again. They will capture and interrogate cultists in order to gain insight of the madness. How rude. You can't take me against my will. That's just, that's like actual assault. Flesh Resonance. That leads to the cultist priests. These guys are recognized. Those who crave for dark knowledge has visited the Heart of Darkness and was granted a new deformed body. And when you move your body, you do the move it nice and sweet and sassy. I don't know, I just felt like, I don't know why I just felt like quoting move it, move it, but I did. All right. Well, Cure Research has begun officially. Um, thank you, Ancestor Incorporated. We have Death Lash. Upon physical contact with Priest's Tendril, their mind would be tormented by terrifying thoughts. Or the finger. Oh, they, th they flip him the bird? That's just rude. Priests impale people with their largest tendril, also called the finger, also called something else that I will not mention. People who survive this would undergo flesh mutation. Mm hmm. Very lethal, though. So we're not sure we want to pick that up quite yet. Either of these, honestly. Um. Well, maybe stumble scratching would be okay. We need more transmission. A lot more transmission. I'm a little concerned. Um. One thing we could do is go for the Trojan Plains. It's only five points. Might as well pick that up a little early. Mutation chance will probably be very good for us because it looks like there is a lot to get. 
So we're going to end up needing that, I think. Maybe not the second, though. Let's go for some cold resistance. And we'll go to Greenland, since that is usually the last place to get infected. We'll start on the islands that are the hardest to infect and kind of work our way back from there. Uh, a bit more cold resistance would be good. We have seeing red sneak into people's houses and murder them at night. Yikes. Uh, let's see. Some lethality, blah, blah, blah. Devious missions. They've decided to travel around the world and spread its blessing. I think that just makes your uh, Trojan planes more effective. Ominous chanting, infectivity in target countries. Devotion just slows down the cure. I'm sure that's good, but not necessary at the moment. Let's go for some social media so we have a bit of extra rich uh, transmission. We also might want to go for a little bit of urban. Urban is quite good, so we can infect uh, Europe a little bit faster. Let's go to the Caribbean next, since they tend to take a while. And then probably New Zealand is the next hardest one to infect after that. Alright, so let's see. We're going to go for Stumble Scratching. Then we're going to go for Enhanced Body, which is harder to cure. That leads to Templars. Ah, I recognize them too, the weird scorpion people. Brawlers that are deemed worthy res received blessings directly. You know I before E except after C? There you go. Except for science, ironically. Science, of all things, is the least scientific in the grammatical language of English. Blessings directly from Heart of Darkness, granting them a new body. They protect the enchanted iron crowns. Z -z -z. Let's go ahead and pick them up. Body slam. Slightly lethal and harder to cure. Doomsday. Highly lethal. So if you want to get a lot of lethality and corpse transmission, that is becoming an option for us. Not sure I want to go for that right now, but it is an option. Uh, let's see. Poor country, rural, more urban, some water. Land and poor country is still quite good. Let's pick that up. Uh, probably going to go... Well, New Zealand's been infected, so probably the Philippines next. And just knowing which ones to get is just sheer experience that I've had with... Plague Inc. at this point. So much. Alright, we're going to go for the uh, Corpse Transmission and the Mutation Chance. Uh, then we're going to go for the Intelligence Network to reduce the research speed and also some more Mutation Chance. We're going to let Mutation start carrying us a little bit. Just a little bit. Greatly increasing Mutation Chance with Enhanced Ability sounds great. What are we missing still? Iceland and Sweden. Yeah, Sweden is always missing. They tend to do that. Ren for the Old Gods mutates. Okay, not what I was hoping for. Uh, increased transmission in all environments could be nice. Digestion, more mutation chance, mind control, severity, but I'm not sure anything else there matters. We can start going for lethality now for the extra DNA and also to slow down the cure. My question is, do I need to go for these to unlock the final stage? Or do I want to go down this route and join them up? More lethality to be had here. Blood for the old god. Blood for the blood god. Brawlers have their blades enchanted with an eldritch curse. Mm-hmm. Hard to say which one really is going to be better. Winning might be better down this route. I don't know if we have to just infect everybody or kill everybody. Probably infect everybody or make them go mad, right? Let's go for Body Slam. It's harder to cure. We're also going to go for the Death Lash. That leads to Know This. The enchanted iron crowns combined with otherworldly spells chanted by priests cause revealed the truth of the world, causing mass paranoia. All right. Let's go to uh, Iceland since we don't really have any water transmission and they've closed down their airport. Uh, so we're going to go for Know This. That leads to Locust Beacon. This is it, the beginning of the end. All right. And that leads to the Heart of Darkness for 35 DNA. Behold the heart of the world, progenitor of life, father and mother, Alpha and Omega, our creator and our destroyer. Gain one hundred lethality when 35% of the world is dead. Oh, uh, really? So when a good chunk of the world is dead, we just instantly make everyone else fall over. Perfect. Uh, we don't want that, <laughs> because we haven't infected the world. If, ever, if lethality went up to 100 and ev not everyone's infected, I mean, I think we just lose. We'll lose faster than the corpse transmission can take effect. That would be quite bad. We're going to want to go for things like uh, the finger, probably, for the extra infectivity. Uh, we are definitely having some trouble in places like the USA, which really surprises me. Let's get into Sweden next. So we've infected every country in the world. That's certainly good. Uh, wealthy country transmission will be very good in places like the USA and Canada. Horrible truth. People who are seeing the visions are spreading the words about the awakening of the new god. Increase poor and rich country transmission and gain 25 DNA, so it pays for itself easily. The new god will rise! The world has heard about the heart of darkness. Governments and experts are not convinced the existence of this entity. However, they will take action against the rising cultist activities. Dude, we got, we got a good 5 billion members strong, okay? There ain't nothing you can do. 
just by sheer by sheer numbers will win. Also, if we're still going to maintain some semblance of democracy, I vote that we make the Heart of Darkness our new president. A singular strike. <laughs> oh, I love the narration in Darkest Dungeon. It's so good. A singular strike. He's such a good voice actor. It's just amazing. All right, let's get into Canada. They seem to be holding out on me. Norway's having a little trouble, but I think we're starting to hit critical mass. All is looking well. Uh, we could probably go for the Heart of Darkness now. Instead, I'm going to slow down the cure a couple of times. Just as long as we have some extra DNA, I'm fine. Capture, now chant spells, transform themselves into flesh mutants. Anything to slow down that cure a little bit will be quite good. Uh, so what are we missing then? Looks like everyone's been infected. All right, Heart of Darkness time. Behold the creator, blah, blah, blah. New God is born. Has accumulated enough power to shatter the earth. Killing every infected human increased lethality to maximum. Lethalitus Maximus. And they're all dead. Boom! Eldritch Blessing has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. Honestly, we would have won this even before we picked up the uh, Heart of Darkness. But it's good to finish out with a bang, right? 398 days, 33% cure progress, 61,394 points, two stars all in all. Not that difficult. Fits the theme pretty well. A little bit of improvement uh, is available in terms of just grammar, spelling, and stuff like that. You know, just a bit of spell check, a little bit of uh, grammarly or something, I don't know. Would definitely help with that, but otherwise, a pretty well thought out scenario. Lots of customization, sticks to a theme quite well. It works. Again, there's nothing to dislike about a really good Darkest Dungeon theme as long as you can execute a scenario well. And this guy did pretty well. I'd give it a good B plus, A minus. Not too bad at all. Again, just fix up some of those grammar mistakes, and I think you've got a pretty solid scenario ready to go there. I like it. Well done. Definitely not as difficult as you led us to believe, though. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>